Ito na, si Paulie na nga ba ang dapat makakuha ng bagong roster spot ni Larry Funashare? Para sa diskusyon na yan, kasama natin ngayong gabi ang basketball vlogger na si Enzo Flojo. Enzo, welcome back to the score. Hey, what's up? Okay, uh, very exciting discussion na yes. pag-usapan, to debate about it, everybody is talking about it. Dito man, sa classroom, sa tambayan, <laughs> sa tricycle station. Yes, everywhere. Kasi natuwa sila sa nagawa niya ng FIBA yes. Asia Cup. Tell us about, unang-una, nung nadinig mo ang sinama ni Coach Chot, si Polly, sa pool, ano naging reaction mo na? Sa tingin mo ba eh, is this just because he did so well in the PBA na you have to give him a shot? Or do you think Coach Chot really saw potential na pwede siguro si Polly na makakontribute sa FIBA? A feeling ko, he saw potential kasi hmm. sa system ni Coach Chot, na yung dribble drive system, I think Polly is a perfect fit for that system. Okay. He's a he's a creator, he can break down his man, finish around the basket, finish from long range. Sobrang okay siya offensive weapon. So I think that was a, a premeditated decision talaga for okay. Coach Chot to include Paul Lee. But did you expect him to contribute the way he did? Na nag-average, sabi mo, 12 points a ball game. Uh, and and the, the way he played, you can, you can have 12 points you know, on, on garbage points yeah. or offensive rebounds, pero iba yung paraan kung paano ginawa ni Paul yung kanyang mga puntos. Talk about the kind of impact he had in the game. Well, very, very big impact. No? For about four games yata, uh, at least, he was a leading scorer mm -hmm. for Gilas. And for many of the games, siya yung nagpahabol mm -hmm. against Taiwan, against Jordan, even against India, nung medyo tagilid ng konti. Mm -hmm. He was the one who really hit the big baskets. No? Um, nagulat ba ako na he did so well in you know, the FIBA Asia Cup? Well, medyo, kasi it was his first international, right. you know, FIBA sanctioned Even tournament. Even before siya nag-pros, hindi naman siya nag-national team. Never, no? never, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. I think even the youth teams, hindi siya nakapasok. So, right. unang sabak pala niya sa FIBA Asia, ang ganda na agad ng pinakita niya. At walang takot, fearless, no matter the situation. Okay. Well, here's the sticky part. Uh, pag may dadagdag kang bago, syempre, mayroong katatanggalin na isa. <laughs> yes. Uh, oddly enough, uh, strange coincidence, just today, was it today, this morning, in announced yes. Coach Chot na si Larry Funisher pala Backed out na has na. to back out because of doctor's orders yes. na sa kanyang lingering injuries for the past few years, back injuries. Back and injuries, stuff. knees, yeah. So, now, is it automatic sa tingin mo na for the spot of Larry Funisher who plays the three, although he can play a big three because yeah. he can defend bigger guys also, ipapasok ko na ba si Paul Lee? Well, for me, if you would put in someone, Paul Lee is the lead candidate. Okay. Um, siguro Paul Lee, maybe Jared Dillinger, these guys would be the lead candidates. Kasi wingman nga si Larry Fonacher. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking for a wingman, Jared Dillinger would be a good pick. If you're looking for someone who can really score off the bench, break down his man, mm -hmm. then no one else but Paul Lee. Well, but yun nga, may kailangan ka pa rin tanggalin na ibang tao. Yun nga, and, and if you compare, let's say, Dillinger, Paul Lee, and Fonacher, remember, nung binubuo itong national team a few years ago, Siyempre, usap-usapan, of course, get the biggest guys you yes. can. So, nandun sila, Fajardo, Greg Slaughter, Japeth, and of course, get the guys who can play bigger for their position. That's why Funisher is about 6'2", 6'3". Yeah. He can play off guard. Gabe Norwood, 6'4". Paul is small. Yes, diba? he Yun is. Yun problema niya. So, <laughs> ang, anong magiging hamon niya sa depensa? At anong nakita mo naman kahit paano sa depensa niya dun sa FIBA Asia Cup? Well, in terms of deep defense, he had some good steals din naman. Um, medyo nahirapan siya with some of the guys he was trying to defend, especially the fir yung first game against Taiwan. Kasi in Taiwan, yung guards nila yung strength nila eh. mm -hmm. So if you're going to put in Paul Lee as a, as a point guard, that's fine. Defensively, okay. kaya na yan. Mm -hmm. If you're going to put him as a small ball shooting guard, mm -hmm. dyan medyo magsasacrifice ang defense ng Gilas. But okay. they can make up for that with the speed, the shooting. Mm -hmm. Yun yung strengths ng Gilas and Paul Lee has those in spades talaga. Alright. Um, no chance for you if you were Coach Shaw to take out any of those three-point guards? <laughs> ang hirap eh, no? Kasi I had this, yung tanong na yan. Diba, I had this discussion <laughs> with some friends. Yung ginawa ni Eli Tenori last year, Yung binigay rin ni Jason Castro, yeah. best point guard, and then, of course, Jimmy Alapad. Yes. How can you? <laughs> diba? Kaya it's ba? tough. It's tough. Well, for me, Jason Castro, shoe in na yan. I mean, he's the best point guard in Asia. Mm. Some NBA scouts might actually be keeping tabs on yep. him in mm -hmm. Spain as well. So, I think Jason Castro, his job is safe, more or less. Okay. In Gilas, no? Jimmy Alapad naman, heart and soul ng team yan, eh. Some people say, matanda na yan. So, panita na ni Paul Lee yan. May Pero, nagsasabing yan, yeah. again, he hit the big shots last year against yep. Korea uh -huh. that sent us to Spain. Mm -hmm. Heart and soul of the team. Mahirap din panita niyan. Si Eli Tenorio, natutunogan ko na some people think, yan ang baka pwedeng panita ni Paul Lee. Mm -hmm. Kasi, he's been inconsistent. Oh. He was the MVP of the Jones Cup two years ago, in 2012. Yep. But That's ever since then, medyo, yun nga, inconsistent yung laro niya. Mm -hmm. So, some people think, maybe Paul Lee would be a better choice than 
the mm -hmm. new tenant. All right. There were some other guys who were brought in uh, part of the pool. Yes. Uh, of course, you mentioned Dillinger, and then this is Jay Washington. Uh, even um, Bo Belga was there as well. Yeah. He was actually part of the lineup last year. He was the last cut. Yes. Um, talk about the chances. Neto mga to. Uh, may possibility ba na sila rin may isama sa team na mayroong may tatanggal dun sa mga wingmen and big men? Well, barring any injuries, mm. ang may pinakamalaking chance na mapasok sa Final 12 would be Dillinger. Okay. Kasi he, well, honestly, mm. last year, siguro if he wasn't injured in that accident, mm. malamang siya yung part ng last 12. Eh. There, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So this time around, if he's healthy, um, I think he should be part of the final 12 as well. He did well in FIBA Asia Cup. Kung tinami numbers niya, hindi as explosive as Paul Lee, mm -hmm. but yung size, yep. yung, flex, yung versatility niya, yeah. yung kanyang speed, those were all you know strengths of Gilas in the FIBA Asia Cup. And I think those are going to be strengths also. Imagine mo lang, Gabe Norwood starting small forward mo, galing mm -hmm. sa defense. Pagpapalit sa kanya, Jared Dillinger, no sacrifice in size, in speed. Maybe Dillinger a bit better on the offensive end then. Mm -hmm. So, ang gandang palitan ako ikaw si Coach Chote. So, of the three, Jay Wash, Dillinger, saka si Bo Belga, maybe Dillinger would have the best chance of getting in. Napakahirap na trabaho para Sobrang ni Coach Chote. Tinanong ko nga <laughs> siya eh, before he left, sabi niya, sabi ko, meron ka bang deadline or personal deadline, sabi niya, sasagarin niya as far as he can, most likely middle of August, yes. bago siya magpa-final cut. So he's gonna bring all these guys. They're leaving tomorrow morning. They're off to Miami. They're gonna train there with Andre Vlad. Yes. So it should be fun to see. We hope to see that soon. And probably, hopefully, with Coach Po. Hopefully he can help with Coach out. Po, yeah. Kapit-bahay lang naman. Andun na sila. <laughs> so we'll see. Again, Enzo, maraming salamat. Good Thank you very again. much. Thank yeah. you.